Hi everyone, I'm Che Hui Wan with matrix number 206436. Today, I am here to critically analyze the article titled No Need for Spacious Booking Rooms by Smokey Bear, Seri Kembangan, Selangor. This article is taken from the Star Online which published on 15th of January 2019. In 1st of January 2019, a ban on smoking at all restaurants and other eateries, including open-air hawker stalls, came into effect in Malaysia. According to the Control of Tobacco Products Regulations 2018, which were issued in December 2018, smoking is banned in any eating place which is defined as any premises, whether inside or outside building, where food is prepared, served, or sold. This article is talking about the thought of the author Smokey Bear regards the letter with topic looking for fair deal as ban on smoking bites from views, the star on 14th of January 2019. This letter mainly talking about the suggestion to allow owners of eateries to provide spatial rooms for the smoking customers. These spatial rooms are equipped with good air ventilation and ensure the smoking cigarette and smoke won't disturb the non-smoking customers. So, in this article with title, No Need for Spatial Smoking Rooms, the author will give his or her opinions on the disagreement of this suggestion about the spacious smoking rooms in eateries. Firstly, the issue is the author advocates the unnecessary to provide spatial rooms for smoking customers in the eateries in Malaysia. Author disagree about the suggestion to have ministry that allowing the owners to provide spatial rooms to the smoking customers in their eateries. The evidence of the author's argument is shown by emphasizing the unfairness of the increased cost of food to the non-smoking customers due to the extra building and maintenance fees of these spacious smoking rooms in the eateries, which shown in paragraph 3. In paragraph 4, the author also makes an inference that the eateries cannot guarantee the smoke will definitely not leak out from the spatial room when the door is open and closed. The leaking smoke will still affect the non-smoking area which differs on the initial purpose of the spatial rooms in eateries. In my opinion, the spacious smoking rooms in eateries are not necessary to be implied because I believe that most of the smoking customers can control themselves and not smoking during the meals in a short period. Self-control is important as it can avoid a lot of problems. Besides, the eateries should not allow the customers to smoke even with the spatial rooms for smoking because any area within the eateries is considered as public area. The smokers should not smoking in public area since this is against the laws and regulations. As a responsible resident, we should obey the law so that the society can be well managed and we can live peacefully together. Moreover, the possibility of the leaking smoke from the spatial rooms will affect other non-smoking customers' health since the customers are unable to wear their mask during eating. The spatial rooms should not be approved in all eateries, even for the eateries of lower classes, such as the hawker center. Everyone in different classes have their right to enjoy the meal in a good and healthy environment. As lower class of status, the employees of the eateries should also be provided a good working environment to secure the health and their welfare. 
This demonstrates that my beliefs, values, and status have reinforced the author's view. Based on the beliefs, values, and status mentioned above, it is clear that I agree with the opinion of the author, which the health ministry should not consider allowing owners of eateries to provide special rooms to the smoking clients. This is because the special smoking rooms will cause negative impact not only to non-smokers customers, but also the employees of the eateries, especially the waiters or waitresses. This is because they must have to enter the smoking room to service the customers since this is their responsibility as the workers. They are forced to inhale the secondhand smoke if the eateries having the special rooms for the smoking customers and it will harm their body health. According to Occupational Safety and Health Act 1994, or known as OSHA 1994. The objects of the act are to secure the safety, health, and welfare of persons at work against risk to safety or health arising out of the activities of persons at work, and also to promote an occupational environment for persons at work which is adapted to their physiological and psychological needs. The passive smoking and working environment will trigger the welfare of the employees since the occupational environment is risky to their health if the special smoking rooms are present in the eateries. Apart from that, the development of the special rooms for smoking customers will increase the cost of construction of the special rooms and its maintenance cost. The maintenance of the ventilation system, the change of new fire extinguishers, and the smoke leaking control of the rooms had contributed to extra expenses of the eateries. To cover these expenses, the owners of the eateries normally will increase the food prices in their shop to gain more profit so that the extra cost can be covered. This is unfair to the non-smoking customers because they are not using these rooms, but they still have to bear with the extra cost. One aspect which illustrates the unnecessary of provide special rooms for smoking customers can be identified as the increasing risk of cause fire in the eateries. When the lit cigarette is accidentally dropped on the chair with flammable cushion, there is a possibility to cause fire in eateries. If the fire extinguisher or the fire alarm system is not function well, the safety of the customers will be threatened and also cause a huge loss to the, to the customers and also the restaurants. To conclude, this vlog has addressed a number of significant points which show that the health ministry should not allow the owners of the eateries to provide special rooms for the smoking customers, even they claim that the rooms will not give negative effects to the non-smoking customers in the eateries. The author of the article points out that the unnecessary of these special rooms by emphasizing the unfairness of increased food cost to non-smoking customers and also the uncertainty of the spacious smoking rooms. Besides, my stance is reinforced the author's argument as I think that the spatial rooms in eateries will kill will cause health problems to employees of these eateries. And it will also increase the risk of cost fire and also will increase the cost of food, especially for the non-smoking customers. That's all from me. I hope you have enjoyed this video and get some new points in this video. Thank you and see you soon.